yeah. this and more on today's Ooh, episode awesome. of Gospel yeah. Gems. Well, what what do you, what would you want to share with uh, with people that uh, want to be uh, songwriters, or want to be singers, or want to you know who haven't put that first album out yet? Hey, I'm Bishop Leonard Scott, and this is Gospel Gems. All right, I'm Leonard Scott, and we're here with this uh, edition of Gospel Gems, and we have with us the very lovely Shannon Ramsey. <laughs> Welcome. Hi, Bishop. Yes, Welcome. Yes. Thank you for having me. I'm honored to be here. Well, we're, we're honored to have you here, and, and uh, you have an exciting story, and, and uh, I'm just waiting for you to share it. And, and first of all, just tell us, who is Shannon Ramsey? Shannon Ramsey, um, I am a servant who follows the greatest servant leader, um, as you can see on my shirt, Yes, is Jesus. Um, I grew up in Baltimore City, um, born and raised, educated, Western High School, Morgan State University, Go Bears. No, oh, wow. <laughs> <laughs> um, and yeah, I grew up not as much in church. My, my spiritual relationship, I really developed with God throughout my years because my family is heavily into church. Mm -hmm. But I, I, I started developing my relationship with God as an adult, I think, okay. in my later teenage years, coming into my young adult years. And... Um, you know, I'm just, uh, you know, a humbled person who was born with a gift. And um, it took me a while to figure it out. And I'm okay with that now. I struggled with it for a long time. Mm -hmm. um, but developing that gift and then realizing that I wanted to use it for the kingdom cool. in my own unique way. Because as you listen and hear my music, you'll you'll see it comes out differently mm -hmm. than than most. But um, yeah, I'm a I'm a mother. I'm mm -hmm. a wife. I have three beautiful children. Oh wow! Christian, Caleb, and Corey. Um, yes. My husband, Corey, and um, yeah, and that's me. I'm a daughter. I'm a sister. I'm a friend. I'm a minister of music at my church, mm -hmm. um, Liberty Outreach Center, and, um, and that's me. You know, I. I hope, I hope you don't get angry at me saying this, but, and I know you probably hear it all the time. You don't look old enough to have three children. <laughs> <laughs> oh, well, you know, and blame it on God, because I don't have nothing to do with it. Um, it's just, it's you look just like a teenager happens. yourself. I and I appreciate that, Bishop. You know, black don't crack. <laughs> You're very handsome yourself, you know? Oh, well, thank you, thank you. Um, yeah. So I, I can't take any credit for that. Yeah, yeah. Hey, I hope you're enjoying the program. Don't forget to hit the like and subscribe button so you can be notified of upcoming events. Your support drives exposure for upcoming gospel artists. So thanks, and let's get back to the show. So when, when did you realize that you had this gift? How old were you? Mm, so I was extremely shy as a kid. Mm -hmm. um, my parents didn't even really know I could sing. So I would, my introduction to music was um, through my dad. Hi, dad. Uh, when I was a little girl, he used to play all of the great R&B music. The Luther Vandross, the Freddie Jacksons, the Patti LaBelle's, my Auntie Patti in my, in my head. Okay. Um, Anita Baker, Phyllis Hyman. So I'm like this little girl riding in the backseat of his car singing all of these songs. Um, and so I knew I could sing then, but I was just too shy to let anybody else know I could. Mm -hmm. And then probably when I became a teenager, around between 14 and 16 years old, uh, my dad had introduced me to Incisive Entertainment, which was run by uh, a couple of family friends of ours. And um, that's how I got started into like an R&B group and singing, okay. and then um, I kind of realized like maybe I could do it, you know? But I didn't see anyone around me doing right. what they loved. Most people that were around me were just doing what, you know, they had to do right. to survive and raise their children and their family. And I'm grateful for that, right? Mm -hmm. um, 
because, you know, it taught it taught me a lot of things. Um, watching them be dedicated to their families um, and providing for their families. Um, but as I got older, I went to I went to school. I went to Morgan. I graduated from Western High School and went to Morgan. And after my first year, I'm, I was majoring in chemistry and math. And mm. the grades weren't the issue. It just wasn't a passion for me. Okay. And so I dropped out of school and I moved to Germany. Oh, seriously? <laughs> Crazy, right? Uh, there, there has to be a story there. Yeah. I mean. <laughs> uh, it, was, it was for 30 days, Bishop. You know, oh. it was for 30 days. It was too cold for me over there. I couldn't take it. Oh. But between the holiday of Thanksgiving and Christmas, my cousin lived there and he okay. was an artist there. And so I wanted to see something new. I knew that there was something else out there for me. I just didn't know what. Right. And so my cousin lived there and I moved there with him and I watched him daily wake up, write songs, um, perform songs, do uh, social media things for other other artists. I mean, he was just working as an artist. Mm -hmm. And um, my first week there, we packed a book bag and we jumped on a plane and we traveled to some small country that I cannot name just to write songs. Wow. And um, the whole week, I was, was 18. OK, I was 18. And um, throughout those 30 days, I finally got to see someone doing what they loved to do. Mm -hmm. And it completely changed my world. So how many how many projects have you done now? So I've done a lot of just individual singles and okay. I've done a lot of work for people, but my album actually comes out on Christmas Day, this uh -huh. Christmas. It's not a Christmas album, but it is my gift to the world. Wow. Yeah. The gift that God's given through me to share in my unique way. Mm -hmm. And it is my first project. And I'm extremely proud of it because I am an independent artist. I started my company in 2016, Sundar Music. Okay. which means beautiful in Indian, so beautiful music. Mm -hmm. And um, and I'm putting everything out myself. Wow. And me and my husband, we put like my save our savings into it mm -hmm. and we got it produced and um, recorded. And yeah, it's we've been getting some pretty good feedback uh -huh. and I, I love it. So, yeah. So what's the first single? The first single was Faith. Faith first uh -huh. single was Faith. Um, the album is entitled Manifest. Manifest, yes. Yeah, and that's important because I feel like I've not, once I made that trip to Germany, <laughs> I was no longer afraid to step out of my comfort zone, right? Because mm -hmm. if you could do that, going to a, a foreign place, you don't right. even know the language, you don't know the food, you don't know anybody. Um, I wanted to start manifesting the things that I was seeing. And so it was just very important for me to, to, to title my first project Manifest. Mm -hmm. And the single from it again is Faith. Mm -hmm. um, because, you know, we walk by faith. You don't walk by sight, right. you know? Um, and it's a it's a skating it's a skating group. Oh, you know, really? You can play it at the skating <laughs> ring. Skate. I skate. I'm not a skate. You know, I don't. You know, but I can skate. You'll you know, do the from tricks, right? yeah. So the cover of the album, which you'll see, um, is literally me standing on my childhood block, my childhood neighborhood where we grew up on 27th Street, uh, Green Mountain, 27th Street. And um, when I was a child, me and my cousins. Um, we and my sister, we would sit on my grandmother's porch and we would sing songs for quarters to get money to like get penny candy and things like that. Mm -hmm. And so we started skating through the neighborhood and cr imagining we were in music videos. Oh, wow. So we were writing our own songs and we were skating through the neighborhood. Mm -hmm. And I was just trying to figure out what kind of imagery I could come up with that could really resonate with me for the album. And my husband was just like, you know, just think about where you begin to manifest these things. And it was like, boom, I gotta go back home. Wow. Mm -hmm. And then, and so on the album cover, I'm standing in the middle of the street and I have my skates on. Mm -hmm. And there's a puddle of water behind us because it was raining that day that has my reflection. <laughs> wow. And um, and that's, that's just, that's where it all began. And um, I had to have faith to get to this point because there was so many, so many doubts, so many fears, right? Mm -hmm. And you deal with, as an artist, you deal with your own inner stuff. Right, sure. You know, it's, it's, it's almost like it's, yeah, you get the, the outward, you get the external attacks, 
but it's those internal attacks that really can keep you stagnant. Right. Right. And so I had to fight my way through that fight my way through people saying, well, you're, are you gospel? Are you not gospel? You don't sound like this person. You don't sound like that. Mm -hmm. What are you going to do with this record? Because it's kind of like, and I'm not confused by it uh -huh. because I know who gave it to me and I know what I'm, what, what the message is, right? But for the external, it was like, well, what is it? What are you going to do? And to have to fight through all of that, I had to have faith in the one who gave me the vision. Wow. And trust that. Right. Even though he's he's only given it to me in part. Right. I had to trust that the rest of everything, you know, the provision was was made. Mm -hmm. And so it was faith. Faith is the first single. Wow. So. You know hymns. I do. Hey, I know some. <laughs> I know some. Um, what's what's your favorite hymn? Oh, uh, I need. The oh, I need thee yeah. every hour. I need thee. Oh, bless me now, my Savior. Savior, I've come to worship. Worship thee. Mm. I'm convinced. <laughs> Hallelujah. <laughs> it's one of my favorites. Yeah, um, of Great my is that faithfulness is one of my favorites. Uh, that was yeah. my grandmother's favorite hymn. Yeah. Um, and I have her old hymn book. Oh, wow. And uh, it has the duct tape on it. <laughs> and then when you open it up, like she's, it's all her scribbles and, and little things yeah, that little, she was writing scriptures and, and all scriptures. Yeah, and, hallelujah. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. So that's, that's definitely, that's grown to be one of my favorites too. Yeah. 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 Cool. Awesome. Yeah. Well, what, what do you, what would you want to share with, uh, with people that uh, want to be uh, songwriters or want to be singers or want to, you know, who haven't put that first album out yet? Trust that what God has put in you is enough. Mm, yeah. I think the one thing that I did that I should not have was I was looking at other people, uh -huh. right? For so long, you right. know, when you're when you're immature in the faith, you, you're just trying to figure it out. Right. But oftentimes when we're looking at other people, we end up subconsciously making them the goal, mm -hmm. making them the standard. And that's where we get confused. Yeah. Right? Jesus is the because standard. Because <laughs> Jesus is the standard. Yes. And the vision that he gave you is what you should only be focusing on. Yes. The blinders should be on. Yeah. So I would say put your blinders on, trust the vision, um, trust and know that we do serve a God who does give you things in part, but he gives you those things in part because he has the rest already planned out. Right. And our minds are too small for him <laughs> to, to even configure what it is that he has going on and the ways that he's going to make right. to do that. Because again, for me to be sitting here with you today is only God. Yeah. He's... And I, I just want to, I want to thank you. Thank you for everything that you've done. Thank you for being obedient and just courageous in the faith, mm -hmm. you know, and sticking to your guns and sticking to your spirituality, understanding that Jesus is the standard. Yeah. Yeah. And I've learned if it ain't about him, it ain't about nothing. And I'm, there and you, I, go. you know, you go. and I, and like I said, I didn't grow up in a church, so I don't, I'm not, you know, I don't have a lot of the religious ways, mm -hmm. um, but I'm definitely spiritual and I definitely love me some Jesus. Yeah. He is my guy. Awesome testimony. <laughs> Thank you. Praise God. <laughs> and I have a gift for you, Bishop. You have a gift for me. Wow. I have a gift for you. So I'm getting into this whole marketing thing. You know, I'm independent. It's just All me. Right. Okay. So, you know, bear with me. Me and Jesus. All right. Can I open it? Yes, please. Please right. open it. I, I, I didn't know if you were going to tell me. You can pop it right open. They wait, got a little manifest stick wait, on there. Wait for Christmas or what? <laughs> Christmas come man. early. You see how you good it? I am. Uh, we can rip it off. There you go. All right. What do we have here? So we have, um, these are manifest, manifest bracelets. Bracelets. All right. right. It says manifest here. It says Shannon Ramsey, 1 Corinthians 12 through 7. All right. 
I'll which is basically on. each man is given the manifestation of the spirit for the common good. All right. Okay. Pun intended with the manifest. <laughs> <laughs> and right. some manifest. And places. you have a t-shirt. A t-shirt. All right. Yes. Man, you gotta show this. Man, here. I hope this is your size, Bishop. I uh got you a large, but I that's, got whatever size you need. That's cool. That's cool. This is actually the back cover of the album. Oh, you know, right. remember back in the day, they used to do when the front and the back? Oh, yeah. So this yeah. is the back with the eight songs on okay. it. Okay. And that's all for you. Cool. Well, thank you very much. This, thank this, you. This is a first. Oh, <laughs> well, I'm glad I could be the first. I don't think I've received a, 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 a gift from, from someone that I've interviewed. So thank you very much. You're more than welcome. You deserve more and more of that. Oh, thank you. Thank you. God bless you. <laughs> Love you. God bless you. Love you too. <laughs> and that's going to be it for today's edition of Gospel Gems. If you like this video, push that like button and make sure you subscribe to the Bishop Leonard Scott Ministries YouTube channel.